And we're back for more Bioshock Infinite. We're going to be playing the second DLC, the downloadable content. So we're going to go over here and play episode number two. And for those of you that haven't watched already, I've already recorded episode number one, so there'll be a link for that uh, playlist down in the video description. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into episode number two. So we'll do uh, medium difficulty. And would I like a recap of the Bioshock events? No, because there's a whole bunch of spoilers in there. I mean, the game's a few years old, so how spoilerish can it be? I don't know. If I do plan on playing, replaying the first two Bioshocks, I don't want to have the completely spoil. So from what I understand, with this DLC, we actually get to play as Elizabeth. Which I am looking forward to doing. I am so sorry. No, you're not. But you're about to be. So clearly it's right after the first one. The first DLC. Harry. Mademoiselle Yes Quel est votre nom Elizabeth. Pour vous, Elizabeth. Oh, no. No, I, I, I couldn't. I, I can't accept... Je vous en prie. J'insiste. Oh, thank you. Merci beaucoup. Are we in? We are in. We're totally in. We're totally playing this game now. So it's been a little while since I've played, uh... Um, Comment ça va, Elisabeth? Everyone's speaking français here. Parlez-vous français? Bonjour, Monsieur Sirot. Ah, bonjour, Mademoiselle Elisabeth. Je manque d'inspiration aujourd'hui. <laughs> oh, because I know what I'm saying, it's kind of funny. Bien le bonjour, Mademoiselle. Bonjour, Elisabeth. Bonjour. She's very good at her French. Comment allez-vous? Comment allez-vous? Comment allez-vous? Ça va bien? <laughs> Je suis Elizabeth. Oh, look at the pretty butterflies. Aww. Bien le bonjour. Bien bonjour. Bonjour, mon ami. Alors, tu as parlé à la jolie petite américaine? Oh, bonjour, mademoiselle. Bonjour. Eiffel Tower over there. Bonne journée. Comment ça va, Elizabeth? Ça va bien. Bonne journée. Bonne journée. Bonjour. 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 Et si tu venais boire un verre avec nous? Claude. Sois pas jalouse, ma petite. C'est pas interdit pour un homme de boire avec deux jolies filles. <laughs> oui. Viens jouer avec nous, Elisabeth. I'm sorry, Cassette. Next time, I promise. Oh, dommage. This is a really nice setting here. I know it's good. Bien all... bonjour, Elisabeth. Mademoiselle. <laughs> Look at the baby. Comment allez-vous? Ça va bien. Bien bonjour, Elisabeth. Baby just rattling around like a caterpillar. Bonjour. Il va falloir que tu me guides parce que je me suis perdu dans tes yeux. <laughs> oh, the romance is in the air. Une baguette, mademoiselle? Oui. I can't afford it though. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bonjour, Elisabeth. Bonjour. Oh, look at the kitty cats. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Le pain est frais, le ciel est bleu, et vous êtes resplendissant. <laughs> this is really adorable. Roquefort, camembert, bris de mots, les meilleurs fromages au meilleur prix. Hi. When does the uh, place get all out of control here? I know it's gonna happen soon. Elle est tellement plus belle en vrai, tu trouves pas? Si tu veux mon avis, il y 
can't even run, run yet. your name? Sally? Sally! Come back! <laughs> and it just got dark. Aw. There goes the balloon. It's kind of creepy now. Sally, wait! This was all beautiful. Sally, where are you going? Come back. Oh. Sally, hold on! Come back! Robotomy? <laughs> oh boy. He's making all these noises. That's good. Red balloon, go that way. Where did she go? So much for that pretty bluebird. Now it's a raven. Booker DeWitt. Oh, this can't be good. It's dark in here. Jeez. Go away. It wasn't my fault. I didn't do anything. No. 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 It wasn't my fault. Leave me alone. Can't you just leave me alone? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I never should have left. I never should have left you there. Whew. Yikes. Things just got serious. Empty. Empty again. What are the odds? What's the hold up? Just having a bit of a laugh, Atlas. This ain't a sporting event. Put a bullet in her. No need to torture the poor girl. We're not animals, you know. All right, all right. Let her go! Quiet down, dear. In a minute, all your problems will be over. Elizabeth, tell him you can get him back. Booker? Uh, Booker, what? Say, I don't understand. I can get you. How? Say... I can get you back to Rapture. What? Just say it. I can get you back to Rapture. Put the gun down. Now, what was that you said about Rapture? I can get you back to Rapture. And how you plan on doing that, sister? You some kind of magician? Su Chong. What? Tell him Su Chong. Su Chong. And how do you know that slant-eyed wonder? You're his lab assistant. I'm his lab assistant. If it escaped your notice, Andrew Ryan sunk us 5,000 fathoms below his shining city. How does Su Chong propose to get us back? That's between me. That's between me. And the slant. And the slant. But if I do this, the girl goes with me. Little sisters are worth their weight in gold. She's not up for negotiation. Last time I checked, back in the city they were making little sisters by the dozen. 
That's a right fairy tale you've dreamed up, sister. But if you're lying, we can just as well kill you tomorrow. Down here, we got nothing but time. In case I need to get hold of you. If you see Su Chong, tell him. Atlas says he hasn't forgotten him. Ugh. Ow, was that really necessary? I don't think that was necessary at all. Elizabeth. Come on, it's time to get moving. Looker? What? Over here, on the radio. You're not Booker. Well, of course I ain't. What have I gotten myself into? I didn't orphan that girl. I didn't kidnap her. Uh, but she made for some exceptional bait, didn't she? Okay. Had to be done. Did it? I felt everything that every version of me felt. All of that knowledge. I lost to Pinky, but that version of me, she lost everything. And Comstock, that final Comstock, he thought he could avoid his guilt by coming here. You educated him proper. But then why am I back here? Huh? I don't remember opening a tear to come back. And who are you? Huh? I think you'll figure that out soon enough. I think that's him there. That's Booker. Slash Comstock on the floor there. Climb the wreckage. Ha ha ha. Alright, let's do this. We are Elizabeth. What are we doing right now? Oh, I guess we just hop down. Uh, I was hoping I could land on that ledge. I was in Paris. I, I was happy. And now I'm here dealing with this Atlas, this, this psychopath. What was I thinking? I wasn't Paris any more than I am Booker. Now I have to find this, this Su Chong and... I don't even know who that is. Not yet, but you know he's the key, don't you? To what? You're asking me. Elizabeth, I ain't even here. Okay. So who is this dude talking to me anyways? So yeah, so I'm playing this blind for those of you that are curious. I have played the uh, main game. And I have played the DLC 1. I've only recorded the DLC 1. And when I actually uh, recorded that, I did it blind as well. But uh, yeah, so this is uh, blind. This should be a lot of fun. I totally dig the Bioshock fiction. Bioshock environments are amazing. Can't seem to run yet, so... I guess we're going this way. What are you? Huh? And how did you know exactly what to tell Atlas? Let me ask you a question. You're feeling like yourself, Elizabeth. I feel... I feel strange and smaller. I can't see the doors. What's behind the doors, I... I can't see the future. I can't even see any tears. Uh-oh. Oh my god. S stay away from me. Booker. No. No. No, please. Please don't. I died here. I was killed by that. Stay away from me! But then, how am I here? How can I be dead in this world and yet... My finger... What am I? Huh? I don't understand! I... I... If we're going to end up in the same place, it needs to calm and enjoy the ride. Are you being cute? I've come round to your way of thinking. Have you? Yes. I do believe one can change things, but after...
after all, the bother one often wishes that one had not. You're a fatalist. A physicist? A fatalist. So was Newton, especially when it came to apples falling from trees. They always contrived to land with a splat. She left the child to rot. Are you implying she's the apple? I'm implying that she did not fall far from the tree. And now she wants to go back. I need to go back. To fix what I broke. Back to where she has no right to be. Back to where she doesn't belong. Doesn't belong? Wait, what do you mean? Do you want to tell her brother, or shall I? Because I died. There are rules. Even for one such as you. She'll forget. All the doors. And what's behind all the doors. All close to her now. She'll be just like the rest of us. Forgetting the past. The present. The future. I'd wager she won't even remember this conversation. We've arrived. Okay. <laughs> all the futures and all the pasts and all the presents are all... You're trading omniscience and croissants for death and mildew. I left Sally to rot. For what? So I could punish Comstock? He was trying to help her, to save her, and I... If I don't make that right... We all have our crosses to bear. But there is a thin line between a martyr and a fool. Okay. Those two are so creepy. Not that they're, you know, scary looking, it's just the way they talk. The Lutesses warned me that if I came back here, I would collapse. From a, a quantum superposition to just me. The quantum what? I've changed, Booker. No tears, no cosmic knowledge. Just a normal girl. With a normal pinky. I hate it. it if I can't open tears, I, I'm never leaving here, am I? I I'm never. Going back to Paris. You and you, you're just you you're just what? You you're you're just the fragments of my memory telling me what my future holds? You decided to come here, Elizabeth. You knew what that meant. Only option as I see it is to trust yourself. Find Su Cha. Okay, well, things have uh Gotten interesting to say the least. Thought I did not realize that she was going to find her a reality with her dead. Wow. So this is the last hurrah. This was the last thing that Irrational Games made after uh, they released this DLC. They announced that the game developer was uh, shutting down. Ken Levine, who was kind of like a creative director. Has uh, also announced that he was essentially switching gears to a smaller team and working on a different uh, game. So, this is it, folks. This is the last sort of piece made by Rational Games. They, of course, made the first Bioshock, and uh, then they made uh, the third one, Bioshock Infinite. Palm of my hand! Mark my words! Palm of my hand! So one of the things that they are well known for is their storytelling. So excellent. I mean, Ball Shock 2 was okay. Just the story was a little weak. I think I'm gonna have to use this air grabber. It's gonna be messy. I don't know. If well, a blow to the back of his head will serve just as well. Be a hell of a lot quieter too. And that's not what you would have done. I'm not Booker. Just because your father did something one way doesn't mean you have to. Ah, uh, hi there. Oh, jeez, scared the crap out of me. Child star. Child star. Come on! I'm well, just a star. Let's out. It's a splicer. Basically, they're addicted to Adam. Spine on me again. DNA manipulation. I'm a little sister. I've got to be. I have to be. Stop calling. So I did. I'm so short. I just hang around outside the place she's staying. You'll want to get the drop on him and quiet. Shh. He can't hear what's only in your head. Well, 
He's not getting up anytime soon. And what with his head all attached to his body? From here on, it's only gonna get worse. And how much worse is up to you? Alright, so they've, uh, from what I was reading about, they've tweaked the, uh, the gameplay so it's to make it a little more stealthy. I did struggle a little bit with the game on the stealthy side of things. You can mold them for life. But, uh, it's all good. I, I kind of didn't mind going in all guns a blazing, so. <laughs> Oh, I can go in the vent too. I am totally the size of a little sister. I have to be. Ooh, look at all this good stuff. I didn't even need any of that. Oh, I guess it gave me a little bit of health, so that's good. Creepy Jim here. No, it's not the strongest that survived, but the fittest. This does look the familiar from I don't know if it was Bioshock One or Bioshock Two. A good start is thinking. Of course, this is taking place before Bioshock uh, One and Two. That's right. Cry like a baby. Time is kind of all mushed together in this game series anyway, so... So he's gonna... To begin the future... The beating here. Now, let's get his lock back. Learn how to kick. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Simple enough. Just a six-pin tumbler. But there's an alarm. I could come in handy though. <laughs> so in the uh, Bioshock Infinite, you just told her, told Elizabeth, go pick that, and she picked it. But it looks like we are going to be. Damn it! Your imperfections will get up on you in a crisis. <gasps> you won't find me so unprepared as this one. Yeah, so I guess we're gonna actually have to pick them. How can you? Rationalize cowering. Oh wow, so he's got a little arm things in his head. Come back! Let's see this. There we go. <laughs> Our first failed lockpick. 